The conical connection plays an important role in implantology. A conical connection is a connection between an implant and its abutment, which is an implant cap that functions as a crown base. To understand this better, we will show how an abutment is screwed onto an implant in a conventional implant system. The implant is placed in the bone, then the abutment is attached to the implant, and the crown is then attached to the abutment. Normally, the implant abutment attachment is a plug-in connection. For some unknown reason, immediate bone resorption after prosthesis insertion has been observed for a long time with abutment plug-in connections. The initial bone loss leads to upper parts of the implant protruding out of the gums, which is a very bad sign from a medical perspective. Why is this bad? The implant surface is usually rough, and this assists in optimal bone healing. It enables the bone to literally grow into the implant. However, this same rough surface also provides an ideal bacterial hideout and nesting area. As soon as the implant is no longer within the bone, the rough surface of the implant gets into contact with the oral cavity. In the oral cavity, there are large quantities of bacteria in the saliva, and this can lead to a bacterial invasion of the implant. Due to the rough surface of the implant, the bacteria can hide themselves away from the body's immune system, and the infection spreads out undisturbed along the implant. At some stage, the bone around the implant is disturbed by the bacterial inflammation and the implant falls out. The x-ray clearly demonstrates the bowl-shaped bone defect in implants with plug-in connections. Dental companies reacted to this strange loss of bone after the insertion of a crown. It was hoped that by polishing the upper parts of the implants, the spread of the bacterial invasion could be stopped at the beginning of the bone loss, and this was partly successful. Dentists observed yet another difference with conical connections, which initially could not be explained. When the abutment with a conventional plug-in connection is unscrewed from the implant for cleaning purposes, the dentist and the patient often notice a very foul smell. This is not the case with conical connections. However, initial bone resorption did not appear to occur with conical connections. The reason for this could not initially be explained. As a result, manufacturers renounced polished surfaces as well. Implants with conical connections showed bone development all the way to the abutment. Therefore, the implant shoulders could also be roughened. Today, we know why there is bone loss with plug-in connections. With conical connections, abutments and implants are linked so tightly that not even a scanning electron microscope can reveal any spaces or gaps. Conventional plug-in connections provide a less than optimal implant abutment interface, leading to a clearly visible gap. Immediately after the insertion of the abutment and the crown, this gap gets occupied by bacteria and bacterial products, and chewing motions cause movement between the implant and the abutment, creating a pumping effect with plugging connections. This movement is clearly visible in the special images. Because of this effect, bacteria are transported outside and around the implant, leading to the foul smell and the initial loss of bone. In contrast, there is absolutely no movement with conical connections. Therefore, the results of conventional plug-in connections are a bacterial invasion of the microscopic gap. The chewing forces pump the bacterial soup out of the gap, leading to the plate-shaped bone defects and the foul smell. By polishing the upper part of the implants with plug-in connections, it's true that the spread of bacteria can be interrupted, but the body will still have to fight the bacterial soup that exists there. All this is avoided with conical connections.